On behalf of Waterford Institute of Technology, I welcome you to this virtual ceremony for the granting of awards for the graduates of 2020. The ceremony has been streamed to all our graduates, their families and friends, and our communities. We share with you all our congratulations on your achievements and formally celebrate those achievements in this ceremony. I would now call on the Chair of our Governing Body to formally open this session and to address you. Agenuista, Arkeon Institute, Technoliachta, Fort Larga, Boalam, Falter, Korov, Galer, Gudi, and Sharmana Shah you. By the powers of Arachtas Aaron vested in the Institute, and in accordance with the rules and regulations set down, this graduation ceremony of Waterford Institute of Technology for the year 2020 is now convened. On behalf of the Institute's governing body, I now affirm the awards confirmed by the Institute. These ceremonies represent public endorsement of the success and achievement of each graduate. The graduation marks the culmination of a programme of study that tested not only academic ability, but also the creativity, critical thinking, research literacy and other skills. The Institute community and particularly the teaching staff who delivered each program, joins with the family and friends of all of the graduates, those conferred here and those conferred in absentia, in being justly proud of their achievements. They graduate today, not only with an internationally recognized qualification, but with the skills needed to better meet life's challenges. I hope you enjoy this ceremony. Goran as chairperson of the Institute's governing body, I have the very pleasant duty in congratulating all of you graduates here today on your achievements. Your journey to date has been marked by a significant personal investment, time, effort and finance, and also the considerable amount of study undertaken to allow you to advance to this acknowledgement here today in our Institute. Your personal achievements are shared now by others family members and friends who have supported you in many ways to allow you to achieve your ambition. Your studies have allowed you, I am sure, to discover attributes within yourselves which may have surprised you, perhaps, as well as developing and promoting ambition, resilience, tenacity and willpower, and the ability to cope with the extra demands of continuing your studies in a pandemic. The relationship between you, the students and graduates, and the committed staff of our Institute has been the key to your success to date. They have mentored, challenged, encouraged, and guided you along the journey. And on behalf of the governing body of the Institute, I want to acknowledge the work which has ensured that standards are maintained with a quality and acceptability of your awards at such a high level regionally, nationally, and internationally. The journey of life you are now embarking on will introduce you to a world which will be constantly changing, complex, and with enormous challenges. While a global stage awaits you filled with discovery and opportunity, it is my hope that you can satisfy your ambitions in the region here, now or in time to come, and contribute to growth and development. Whatever path you take, you carry with you every good wish of myself and the Institute. You are joining a large group of highly regarded graduates from this Institute, making their mark throughout the world. We share in your success as we set about the future Institute developments, which will support the aspirations of future students and the wider region with the creation of the Technological University. In conclusion, May you enjoy the remainder of the day and your celebrations. We are delighted to welcome graduates, families and friends to the conferring ceremony for the class of 2020. In 2020, Waterford Institute of Technology celebrated the 50th anniversary of its establishment 
as a regional technical college in 1970. From humble beginnings, the Institute quickly became the leading third level education provider for the region and a sector leader nationally. WIT has established itself as one of Ireland's most innovative educational institutions, leading in research and teaching, driven by a strong ethos of partnership and cooperation with our regional and international stakeholders. WIT is a university level institute with an international reputation for academic excellence and performance. Our reputation guarantees that graduates of WIT are sought after by leading edge employers in Ireland and around the world. The greatest challenge WIT has faced since its foundation is COVID-19. I am particularly proud of the dedication and commitment which enabled the Institute to migrate its educational offerings online over such a short period of time. Our priority is to ensure that you, the student, continues to receive a quality educational experience, and most importantly, that the WIT Award in 2020 is a certification of your academic achievement and leadership. Despite the continuing impact of COVID-19 and the need to move this, this ceremony online, today remains a day to be cherished in your memories. The conferring ceremony is an important occasion marking your academic achievement and the hard work you have put into earning your qualification. You can be particularly proud of your achievement in light of the difficulties you faced in completing the course online. I know it has been hugely challenging for you and it requires great dedication and sacrifice. Thanks to your dedication and commitment, you have reached a major milestone in your life's journey as your qualifications open a world of possibility through which you can start to realize your personal and career ambitions. Today you celebrate with the people closest to you who have supported your journey of learning, family and friends, parents, guardians, children, partners, the ones who have been there for you throughout your studies. We offer you, the graduate, many congratulations and also a very special thank you to all of those who supported you throughout your time at the Institute. Today's ceremony is also a day to celebrate while remotely with classmates, recognizing the bonds you've built over the months and years of working alongside each other and the alumni network that will continue to contribute to your future success. We hope that post COVID-19, we will find an opportunity to bring you together to celebrate your graduation physically with the Institute, classmates and family. In the meantime, I hope that you will keep fond memories, not only of today, but also of your time at Waterford Institute of Technology. COVID-19 has redefined the work environment with the emergence of hybrid work environments, combining physical and remote working as the new norm. It is likely that this change will define the future work environment. It is also clear that organizations built on knowledge creation, its innovation and application continue to perform strongly despite the impact of COVID-19. These work environments need the kind of innovative, skilled graduates such as yourselves. Thanks to your educational experience in WIT, you have the skills to succeed in the new environment, to develop new businesses, to transform existing ones, and particularly to take the lead in shaping the future of Waterford City and the wider Southeast. I am confident that you will embrace these opportunities and that you possess all the capabilities to become the next generation leaders in your chosen profession. Take pride in your achievement and your qualification. I wish you every success for the future, be it a future step into academia or in advancing your professional career. While the Institute's past achievements are considerable, the time has now come for the Institute to move to the next stage of its development with the Institute of Technology Carlo into a technological university. The new university will be university for the entire region and will have significant impact nationally and internationally. It is our ambition that in time it will be among the top new universities in the world. The creation of the Technological University will ensure 
that the Institute continues to drive the economic, social and cultural development of the South East. Thank you. We now move to presenting the list of graduates and I call on the head and dean of the school to present graduates from their departments within the school. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Science and Computing and are worthy of their award. I present candidates from the Higher Certificate in Science in Agriculture on behalf of their programme leader, Dr. Tony Woodcock. Colin Buttermer and Eamon Murphy. I present the candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture on behalf of their programme leader, Dr. Tony Woodcock. Alan Bennett. James Beresford, Neve Bolton, James William Brophy, Rebecca Carey, Owen Jonathan Edgehill, Reese Edgehill, Steve Farrell, Chloe Fennell. Luke Farron, Michael Galvin, Stephen Gill, Brendan Michael Guyry, Liam Hennessy, Peter Hennessy, John Hickey, Aaron Highland. Lisa Marie Joyce, Thomas Kennedy, Kieran Kidd, Donal Michael Kinsella, Sarah Kinsella, Thomas Lambert, Andrew Leahy, Oren Leamy. Matthew Joseph Lynch, St Stefan Maher, Andrew Jason Mansfield, Louis McGrath, George Joseph Murphy, Jeremiah O'Brien, Dylan O'Gorman, Daniel John O'Mara, Paul O'Neill, Martin O'Reilly, Kieran Phelan, Ashling Theresa Prendergast, Valerie Reddy, Owen Roach, Niall Roach, Jack Ryan. Shane Ryan, Pat Short, Thomas Joseph Steins, Shane Whelan, and Jack White. I present the candidates from the Higher Certificate in Science in Agriculture Science on behalf of their programme leader, Michael Breen. Gerard Millerick. I present the candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Agriculture Science on behalf of their programme leader, Michael Breen. James Bennett. 
Patrick Bennett. Patrick Birmingham. Marita Butler. Kevin Byrne. Dermot Claffey. Paul John Colgan. Jonathan DC. Katie Doyle. Neve Doyle. Richard Michael Duffy. Aoife Dulay. Patrick Dunphy. Emma Flynn. Caroline Ann Fogarty. William Patrick Fogarty. Shane Gray or Gahan. Orla Gilligan. Dermid Guinan. Kean Patrick Haddock. Kevin Hanny. Kevin Hassett. Evan Hayes. Margaret Hayes. Tom Hayes. Anthony John Heffernan. Aoife Hennessy. Kevin Kelly. Nicole Kyohan McCarthy. Barry Kirby. Shona Ingrid Lanigan. Kevin Madden. Neve Magner. Thomas McCarthy. Richard McAvoy. Conal Moore. Helen Louise Morrissey. Shona Mulhall. Connor Mulligan. Shane Neville. Daniel Stephen O'Brien. Michael O'Connor. Roisin O'Donnell. Connor O'Halloran. Dermid O'Halloran. Sinead O'Keefe. Kevin O'Neill. Michael Pat O'Neill. Daniel O'Sullivan. Martin Phelan. William Power. Ellen Roach. John William Ryan. Leonie Skihan. Kean Slattery. And Sidna Smith. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in For Forestry on behalf of their programme leader, Tom Kent. Shane Ahern. Jack Brehany. Donica Buckley Healy. Daniel Joseph Collins. Glenn Coughlin. Kieran Foley. Ronan Gallagher. Michael Lawler. Connor Maguire. Patrick Meany. Dylan Murphy. Kieran Neville. Connor Noonan. John David O'Connell. Mark O'Neill. Fergus Joseph Price. Lorcan Thomas Ryan. 
Darren Scanlon and Porrick Tierney. <clears throat> I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Horticulture on behalf of their programme leader, Cara Daly. Shane Bugle. Patrick Conway. Etienne Del Prado. Andrew Dixon. Robert Emerson. Gavin Fowler. Owen Patrick Haberling. Connor Howard. Sean Keane. Sharon Carney. David Kelly. Alan Patrick Kennedy. Kean Matthew Kervik. Hannah McQuillan. Sean Roger Murray. Mario O'Kelly. Jared Michael O'Neill. At a joke up a Susi. Adam Rowan and Luke Norman Sr. I present the candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Land Management in Agriculture on behalf of their programme leader, Nick McCarthy. Liam Barton. Martin Boasang. Michael Bergen. Joseph Breen, Paddy Brennan, Alice Elizabeth Byrne, Declan Byrne, Stephen Campion, Louise Carroll, Rachel Cass, Amy Clark, Owen Cleary, Harry Cosgrave, Thomas Costigan, Miriam Deneen, Patrick Dohany, Michael Doyle, William Gaffney, Ashling Jones, Sean Minogue, Danielle Mulligan, Matthew Murphy, Gary Murray, Leeson William Neal, Connor O'Mara, Ashling, or sorry, Ailish Osborne, Lachlan Ryan. Claire Summers Cashin and David Wickstead. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Land Management in Forestry on behalf of their programme leader, Nick McCarthy. David Mortimer. Martin Murphy. And Thomas Ronan Thomas O'Keefe. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Food Science with Business on behalf of their programme leader, Elaine Duggan. Coleman Luke Cotter. Michelle Cronin. Anne Dohany. Megan Fanning. Sean James Griffin, Katrina Henderson, Fiona Hickey, Ashlyn Lawler, 
Megan Maher. Jenny Marshall. Catherine Murphy. Fiona O'Shea. Emma Kathleen Riley. Emily Sheehan. Nicole Mary Sullivan. And Keith Ye Young. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Food Science and Innovation on behalf of their programme leader, Elaine Duggan. Gary Brennan. Evan Coleman. Felipe Garduana. Jared Holden. And Andrea Lockdown. Nare Marukian, Kira Murphy, Anya Plunkett, James Prendergast, Natalie Tate, Roisin Walsh, Francis Ward, and Michael Whelan. I present candidates from the Certificate in Pharmaceutical Technology on behalf of their programme leader, Bernie Whelan. Fraser John Chambers. Ian Gaskin. Marcella Hutnikova. Emmanuel Kamara. Michael Mahoney. Robert Francis MacDonald. Maraid Patricia Nixon. Yvonne Kathleen Power. Dean Thomas Roach. Sean Ryan. Jessica Troy. And Sean Tyler. I present candidates from the Higher Certificate in Science in Good Manufacturing Practice and Technology on behalf of their programme leader, Bernie Whelan. Jonathan Byrne. Ben Martin Clooney. Kevin Joseph Cotter. Carl Doyle. Mark Edward Flanagan. Darren Thomas Flynn. Donna Goulding. Gregor Ronis Kieras. Stephen Lillis. Robert McNeil. John O'Brien. Fern Power. Michael Power. Gary Patrick Roach, Aoife Wall, and Sean Gerard Walsh. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Science in Good Manufacturing Practice and Technology on behalf of their programme leader, Bernie Whelan. Anne Eleanor Byrne. James Edward Egan. Seamus Anthony Fitzpatrick. Jason Louch. JJ MacDonald. Joyce Malloy. Breed Jane O'Brien. Karen Ann O'Sullivan. Dawn Prendergast Flavin, Adrian Ryan, and David Thomas Walsh. I 
I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Science on behalf of their programme leader, Claire Keary. Brian Gilligan and Jennifer O'Gorman. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Applied Biology on behalf of their programme leader, Audrey Hearn. Owen Barry. Rachel Casey. Sarah Connolly. Ross Cummins. Hannah Daniels. Emily Dempsey. Michael Devan. Jason Dunn. Owen Flynn. Shane Harney. Gary Hogan. Clara Kennedy. Jordan Kervik. Chloe Kiley. Sharon King. Alexandra Gabriella Kozmokowska. Kira Leonard. David Maher. Emer Meller. Casey Tony O'Leary. Rian O'Neill. Chloe O'Rourke. Tegan Owen Pelly. Michael Phelan. Richard Power. And Shauna Redmond. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Molecular Biology with Biopharmaceutical Science on behalf of their programme leader, Audrey Hearn. Eyre Brennan. Lee Butler. Megan de Courcy. Jennifer Drohan. Kevin Foskin. Sam Grace and Chloe Quinn. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Science on behalf of their programme leader, Kathleen Grennan. Thomas Avery. Zorana Babich. Barry Michael Crosby, Mavis de Bigbo, Rebecca Fegan, Nefengfak Fontu, Jinaf Hisanan, Mary O'Donoghue, Kean O'Reilly, Fiona Regan. Yar Chin Sim and Craig Kenneth Sweeney. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Pharmaceutical Science on behalf of their programme leader, Claire Lennon. Esther Iamola Adeleye, Anastasia Bechev. Sinead Banville, Jessica Burns, Lee Butler, Caroline Chiesty, Carl Collins, Stephanie Kern, Courtney Daly, Melena Diaz de Sousa, Sarah English, Christina Fitzgerald, 
Sophie Flynn. Gavin Horan. Emma Kelly. Martina Maria Capozel. Jessica Martin. John James McCarthy. Danielle Miller. Daniel Murphy. Megan Murphy. Roisin O'Brien. Sean O'Keefe. Ryan O'Leary. Anikan Loretta Ofisong. Ian Sinnott. Ross Joseph Young. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science Honours in Physics for Modern Technology on behalf of their programme leader, Claire Keary. Owen Cooney. Nathan Mark Cooper. Brian Ennett. Dara Foley. Dermot Fortune. Shane Hearn and Liam Lanigan. I present candidates from the Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Analytical Science with Quality Management on behalf of their programme leader, Richie Ryan. Serena Roach. I present candidates from the Master of Science in Analytical Science with Quality Management on behalf of their programme leader, Richie Ryan. Kean Maloney. And Porik Christopher Rossiter. I present a candidate in the Department of Science who has successfully completed the requirements of a master's degree by research under the supervision of Dr. Imelda Casey. The thesis title is Nitrogen Fertiliser Strategies for Irish Grassland. I present Kevin Anthony McNamara. I present a candidate in the Department of Science who has successfully completed the requirements of a master's degree by research under the supervision of Dr. Elaine Duggan. The thesis title is an investigation of cold chain management systems breaches during exploration on the quality and shelf life of fresh fish. I present Courtney O'Sullivan. The highest academic award that can be conferred is at the level of doctorate. I now present candidates for doctoral awards. I present a candidate in the Department of Science who has success successfully completed the requirements of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Tom Kent, Dr Orla O'Donovan and Dr Matteo Sotrocanola, RIP. The thesis title is An Investigation of the Economic Potential of Short Rotation Forestry in Ireland and was examined by Dr Nick McCarthy from WIT and Dr. Fanula Murphy from UCD. I present Anna de Miguel. I present a candidate in the Department of Science who has successfully completed the requirements of a PH degree by research under the supervision of Dr. Siobhan Walsh and Professor Donna Berry. The thesis title is Herd and Animal Level Management Tools Generated from National Databases and National Genetic Evaluations and was examined by Dr Denise O'Mara from WIT and Dr Jan Lassen from Viking Genetics. I present Fiona Dunn. I present a candidate in the Department of Science who has successfully completed their requirements of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Dr Gillian Gardner, 
Dr. Padra Lawler from Chagas Moor Park and Professor John O'Doherty from UCD. The thesis title is Strategies to Improve the Microbial Quality of Liquid Feed and Optimise Growth of Liquid Fed Grow Finisher Pigs and was examined by Bill Kyo from WIT and Dr. Nouria Kanib from Our House University in Denmark. I present Fiona Maria O'Mara. That now brings our ceremony to an end. We hope you have enjoyed it. We ask you to keep safe in these challenging times and to follow the relevant health guidelines and advice as we return to more normality. We hope to see all of our graduates again at some point in the future, and we thank you for your support and for your sharing in this special graduation.